so we will rig this piston so let's get started we will do this do this with the uh, bones because we do not have ik constant for objects so hide this for now cap and i will select this one and shift s cursor to selection then i will add shift a i will add a bone and then i will rotate it by 180 degree so it's pointing downward also i will apply the rotation and now i will select this and shift s cursor to selection then i will select this i will go into the object property and then i will click on in front so we can see it and then in the edit mode i will select this uh, head of the bone and then shift s selection to cursor so we have this over here and then i will have like select i will select this and then this and now i will press shift s cursor to selection so we have this over here and now i will add one more bone so e z like this and then i will press shift s cursor to selection so we have one bone for this one this object and one bone for this object we need one more bone for this object as well that i forgot to add so e z and then i will do uh, switch direction so if you see it's not connected so select this one and this one and then press ctrl p connect so now it's connected and we do not want to connect this so what we will do is we will select this i will i mean press alt p clear parent now it's not parented and I will uh, we will have uh, like one more bone for stretching which you will understand once we make it so again switch direction parent this to this control P parent and now it's parented so now let's uh, parent everything to the object so select this object and then the bone go to the pose mode select the bone which you want to parent to control t parent to bone now i will repeat this, this process for all the objects again select this select the armature go to pose mode select the bone that you want to parent to control p parent to bone and for the last one this one again go to the object mode select this select the armature go to to pose mode select the bone that you want to parent to control p parent to bone so now if i move this it will move that one if i move this this will move this one and this will move this one so now let's uh, add ik constant to this bone because this will ik to this bone so ik select this armature by the way we will have to rename it so we can uh, i will name it target target so we can select it easily the target now now i will have uh, add one more bone so i will just duplicate this one shift t oh by the way for duplicating we will have to go to edit mode shift t I will move it in the x-axis I will name it controller C T R L and we can now switch the direction so now if I rotate this bone it should work but it's like not working because I will have to parent this bone in the edit mode parent this bone to this one but I will have to keep the offset so now if I rotate this one should work but it's not working like the way we want it to work so what we can do is we can select the bone go to the bone setting and add this stretch now see what's happening now it's working but not the way we accepted 
so if I add enable this uh, cap now if I animate this you will see it's going through this object so how we can fix this it's also pretty easy just select this phone and then lock the axis x axis then select this lock the x axis as well now it should work see so this is ik constant by the way we have more, more setting for the ik constant so let's see this one is pole, pole target that we can set like uh, in this example we do not need any pole target but let me make one for demonstration purpose so this is the bone and now we can add this bone to the bone to like pole so name it pole it's always good to name all your bones so you can easily select that so now as you can see it will target it will point the pole targets so if i hide the to stick you will be able to see that this one is pointing this one so if i move this this will also move so this is what we have pole target for by the way we have to edit mode and delete this one because we do not actually need this in this example and then we have few more settings let's see uh, like this pole angle which we can which will work with the pole target we can rotate that over here and then duration and then chain length if you want this to only work like from this of uh, this bone to this one not this you can select that over here uh, if you have like 10 bone but you want the IK to work on only 5 bone then you can type in 5 over here and then this is use tell use this is a self uh, explanatory